Hey everybody, this is Kurt Davis with Buy Memphis Now, and today I'm going to be doing a video that's going to cover five things that you should look for in a turnkey investment company. Now, before I actually get into the tips, and I actually got five tips that I'm going to cover today, uh, but before I get into them, let me kind of describe what a turnkey company is. Now, there's a lot of debate. Uh, on forums I've seen uh, where people try to describe or, or define what a turnkey company is. Uh, simply put though, a, uh, a turnkey company, we'll use our company, Buy Memphis Now, for example. Our company, so what we essentially do is we buy, pro we buy the homes, we own them, we fix them up to usually at or above market standards, and then we turn them over to the property management who will then market for tenants while we then turn around and advertise the homes for sale. Uh, that's part of it. Uh, when, the, when the client comes to us, uh, they're looking for us to essentially walk them through the process of the purchase from start to finish. Uh, we've got all the pieces in place for them for that experience. Uh, a lot of times we're lining up and coordinating just about everything for the investor from start to finish. But essentially that's what a turnkey company will do. Um, do not get a turnkey company confused with an affiliate marketing company. Now, the way you can kind of identify these is, is uh, affiliate marketing companies, number one, they usually don't buy the homes, fix them up uh, themselves. And a lot of times also you have to look for a company where if you're on their website, it might show that they are selling homes in 10 to 15 different markets. Uh, that's usually an affiliate marketing company because when you get on the phone with uh, a representative from their company, uh, they're going to present all these different homes in different markets and they're going to be putting you in touch with the actual providers in those markets. So uh, essentially what they're doing is acting kind of as like a middleman or a buffer between you and putting you in contact with, say, a company like us or, or other turnkey companies like us. So that's kind of the difference on how you can tell whether you're working with a turnkey company because you should be dealing directly with somebody from that company or an affiliate company so that's the difference uh, but kind of getting back to the five things to look out for uh, one of the things and, and like I say keep in mind I'm, I'm going to talk about five things we could talk about 50 things to look out for but I've just kind of put down a list of five so uh, first one I put down is, is how long have they been in business uh, typically, if you do business with a turnkey company and they've been in business for many, many years, that's typically a good sign. It means that they've been doing things right for a long time. Uh, they probably have more happy clients than they do upset or sad clients. Um, usually they've got market credibility. Um, so it's, it's not a huge requisite, but uh, it just kind of shows that if you're going to do business with a company who has been around for some time, there's just comfort in that. Um, number two, do they have a physical presence in the market where they're doing business or where they're selling homes? Uh, that's, to me, that's kind of an important one. And <clears throat> the example that I would give you for that, at least from my standpoint, is, is that we're in Memphis, Tennessee. We're experts on the Memphis market. Uh, we don't really have any issues here in Memphis. Several years ago, uh, we had clients who wanted to buy property in Atlanta when Atlanta was really hot. So what we tried to do is we tried to service clients who were buying from us in Memphis who then wanted to go to Atlanta. Well, we didn't have a physical location in Atlanta. So what we tried to do is we tried to find a realtor who could help us buy property and try to get someone else to coordinate a rehab while that realtor had a sort of property management company and you know we were we were trying to be all things to our clients and I think we maybe did a handful of transactions uh, but honestly the the amount of work that went into it and just not having our own people there and an actual presence it was kind of a nightmare process for us and just being completely honest with you we were not good at that it just wasn't 
our strengths. So we kind of determined after doing a few transactions that we were just going to stick to Memphis. Now, <coughs> excuse me, if we were to ever consider going to another market, we would actually have to have our own people there who cared about the company that, you know, that's a, that's a big difference. You have to have our own people. So, uh, that's why I feel it's it's important that if you're going to do business with a turnkey company that they have some type of actual real presence in that particular market. Uh, the third thing is, is uh, do the owners or do any of the people from the company, maybe from a sales side, for example, do any of them actually own property in that market that, that you're considering doing business with? So... Uh, like myself, for example, I own 30 single family homes. I'm currently buying, I'm active. I've been buying property for the last 12 years now. Uh, the owner of our company, he owns a sizable portfolio of homes. He's actively buying as well. Uh, why wouldn't we buy? Our market is wonderful, uh, great cash flow, great place to purchase. So when clients come to us, we can confidently say, we're active investors ourselves, and we are buying the same types of homes for ourselves, for our own personal portfolio, that we are helping our clients buy the exact same thing. So we don't actually do anything different. My portfolio, I buy the same types of homes. I use the same management company. I renovate my homes the same. I'm really not doing anything different for myself than what we help our clients do. So to me, that's very, very important. Uh, number four. Do they have a system that takes you from start to finish in the buying process? So, you know, one of the reasons why people uh, look to a turnkey company is, is that, uh, you know, do they have closing attorneys, insurance providers, uh, preferred lenders, home inspectors? You know, how is the property management set up? Uh, is management owned by the actual turnkey company where they can promote it as in-house? Or have they done more of a... Uh, partnering with a local management company for their clients, kind of like what we have done. So uh, termite pest inspectors, uh, things of that nature. So um, we do have all of these things in place and that, you know, we make it so that when the client comes to us, they do not have to go out and find all of these uh, different providers for the process on their own. Now we do work with clients who you know, sometimes they'll come to us and they're already pre-approved with their lender or they've got their own home inspector or maybe they've done business in Memphis before and they've got another man property manager that they used on previous purchases that they want to go with. So, uh, but for a lot of new investors, uh, you know, these out-of-state clients who come to us, they're busy professionals. That's why they kind of primarily go turnkey. So they're looking to us to essentially have all the pieces in the place and to help them manage this uh, buying process for them from start to finish and that's essentially what we do and that's what a good turnkey company will do uh, in my last tip that I have I guess you could call it uh, tip number five what kind of product is the turnkey company putting out uh, you know what, what's the renovation quality uh, have you talked with any past clients or what kind of reviews do they have online <coughs> excuse me uh, you can go to a website like bigger pockets or turnkey reviews and see a lot of feedback. Uh, you should find feedback on the company then there. And obviously the more the better. Um, what, what type of pricing models do they have for their property? Uh, a lot of turnkey companies uh, essentially kind of you know, keep their pricing. They try to get as close to a, a 1% uh, purchase price to sale ratio, meaning if we're selling a house for 100,000, uh, the goal is, is to get as close to or at a thousand dollars a month in rent uh, for example um, and ultimately what kind of cash flow and returns can you expect going uh, with that particular company so you know there's a lot of things to take into account get you know get feedback see before and after pictures of their renovations how transparent are they we try to put uh, before and after slideshow videos out uh, video tours sometimes we'll put them on youtube things like that so you know those are kind of the you know the five tips that i've come up with like i said i we could we could put 45 more out here i felt that these ones were at least worthy enough to talk about uh you know to sum this up in general why do people go 
turnkey as opposed to say maybe doing this on their own and really a lot of it is just it's the time it takes a, a very low percentage of uh, new investors or investors who are long distance out of state have the time to find all of this and do it all themselves especially if you for example live in California and you're gonna buy property in Memphis you can do all the homework and research that you want but uh, the fact remains is that you don't live here, you're not from here, and essentially you will be putting a lot of faith and trust in, say, a company like ours or, or another turnkey company. Uh, and I think a lot of people find that it's easier to go with a company like us because, you know, maybe because of our reputation, how long we've been around, we've, we've got the pieces in place for them, and, you know, those are the reasons why people do it. Uh, you can certainly go uh, an alternative route where, maybe you get a realtor to find property and then you got to try to locate your own contractor and now you're interviewing three, four, five management companies and uh, there's, there's just a lot more legwork that'll go into it. It can certainly be done and we, we have worked with clients in the past who you know, certainly go that route, but uh, our business model, turnkey business models essentially are really designed and put together to work with the out-of-state investors. So that's essentially going to kind of sum up this video uh, as far as things to look for in turnkey investment companies. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, watch some of our other videos. Uh, certainly give us some feedback, you know, we really appreciate it and hopefully you can put out some better content, uh, keep it coming. So 